welcome to my new video little bit further now today we discuss laplace average formula so before that we are going through bessel and sterling formula of interpolation and then it is also little bit similar to the bessel we can reduce this and the bessel both with the help of gauss forward difference interpolation formula correct so this is also deduces it's the generalized form of gauss forward interpolation formula we have to substitute something and then if you want you can see the proof how to deduce so what is this laplace average formula it's given by in two terms p we already know our p is x minus x0 by h h is difference x at what point we have to find out x0 the initial point which we have to consider regarding x whatever we have to find out so p is x minus x0 by h and q there is another variable q is equal to 1 minus p that is 1 minus p p plus q is always 1 so our formula is given by y equal to q y 0 plus q q square minus 1 square by h to the 0 del square y minus 1 plus there is always going on in the squaring term q is only individual q square minus 1 square q square minus 2 square and all the odd factorial factorial 3 factorial 5 and these all are even similarly For p p y one p p square minus one factorial three del square y zero, this is del four y minus one and so on. P p square minus one p square minus two upon factorial five. Always factorial is in odd order. Factorial three, factorial five, factorial seven, and the terms is going on p p square minus one p square minus two square p square minus three square and so on. For q same q q Q square minus one square Q Q square minus one square Q square minus two square and so on. So this is the look of formula. Now let's see how to use in the example. Just a short short example. Using the Laplace average formula, calculate y at x equal to twenty six by the given data. So they give x and y. x and respective value of y x is 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 and they want at value of function y at a point x equal to 26 and the y is respectively given 12.849 16.351 and so on so step 1 we have to make the table del y del square y del q y the forward table Forward table is this minus this, this minus this, and so on. So first step is we have to make the table. Second, decide what is our x zero. X zero is the nearest point to x. Our x is twenty six. So our x zero we will consider is twenty five. So in this formula, it's very good, very nice that you can see the values. in q we substitute from the table is the x y 0 line or we can say x 0 line and the values which we are using to substitute in p are lie on the x 1 or we can say y 1 line at this line so for this for p terms we have to substitute this this and this for q we have to substitute these three none of the other values we have to see just decide x0 then the lower is x1 and the x0 line and the x1 line both are substituting x0 substituting in q x1 substituting in p then the other condition also for this laplace average formula that p is lying between 0 to 1 same like the bessel and q is also lying between 0 to 1 it means p and q because q is 1 minus p so summation of p plus q is always 1 so here our p is 0.2 lying between this apply the condition and where we use the bessel bessel is best work 
between where the P is lying between 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. So for this condition, Vesal works very good. And for this, we have to find check either this is not greater than 1. If yes, then we have to proceed. Now next step, we have to substitute the value at every point we are the required and then calculation part. So it's very easy, Q. Q is our 0 0.8. I substitute here, Y0. My Y0 is 19.524. So I substitute here, 1 by 1, I will erase and substitute. So maybe you will better understand how to substitute. Y x equal to 26 equal to q is 0 0.8 times y0 is 19.524 plus this is 0 0.8 q square minus 1 square is given by minus of 0 0.36 so i will write 0 0.8 minus 0 0.36 upon factorial 3 is 6. Then next value we have to substitute minus 0 0.301. 0 0.301 that is negative. Next same q is 0 0.8 q square minus 1 square is 0 0.36. Q square minus 2 square is given by minus 3.36. So I will substitute 1 by 1. 0.8 minus 0.36 minus 3 point when you calculate it will be minus 3.36 factorial 5 is 120 so you can put as factorial 5 and calculate also next value at del 4 y minus 2 is this 0 0.004. I will substitute here. 0 0.004. That's all because we have the table until this term. Next, substitute the value of P. P Y 1. P is our 0 0.2. Y1 is this 22.396. Now we are going through X1 line. So 22.396 plus P, P square minus 1 by 3. So P is 0 0.8. P square is 0 0.2. Then P square minus 1 square is given by minus 0 0.96. Minus 0 0.96 upon 6. And the, this value is given by minus 0 0.269. Minus 0 0.269. Next P, P square minus 1. So P is 0 0.2. P square is minus 0 0.96. P square minus 2 square is given by minus 0 0.269. I will substitute here. Zero point two minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.96 minus 0 0.269 upon 120 and the next Last value of substitution is minus 0 0.009. Minus 0 0.009. That's all. Next step, just calculate the each term and find the respective answer. So, when we calculate the each term, y at x equal to 26, you will get the first term is given by 15.6192 plus second term is minus, sorry, 0.01444a plus 
zero point one two three four three two two five six plus when we calculate the p term this is four point four seven nine two plus zero point zero zero eight zero zero eight minus zero point three four Five zero two four. So this is our Q and this is our P, and the respective value is coming by twenty point zero one two one four three one two three two. When we estimate twenty two point one two. So y at x equal to twenty six is given by twenty point. One two. That's all for average formula. So this is how we will proceed. Very simple. Just we have to learn memorize the formula and the values. What is values we have to substitute in? First is P Q. So calculate P P regarding x zero and whatever the given x given x consider x zero then x minus x zero by the interval is P then Q is one minus P when Q and P Coming x zero coming then x zero line and x one line x zero the alternate even order differences not the odd we say even order differences so first one then the del square then the del four all the even order differences x zero line substitute in q x one line substitute in p and then less is Solve the question, solving, and then you will get the values at required point. That's all for today. Thank you very much.